yaw control is provided by two hydraulically operated rudders and the respective anti-balance tabs. The anti-balance tabs deflect in the same direction as the rudder to increase rudder effectiveness. The rudders are controlled by the captain's and first officer's rudder pedals. The rudder pedals are mechanically connected together. Each set can be individually adjusted using a hand crank. Rudder pedal inputs are mechanically transmitted through the rudder feel and centering mechanism to the rudder power units. The rudder power units use hydraulic pressure to mechanically position the rudders. The lower unit is powered by hydraulic system A and the upper unit is powered by hydraulic system B. The rudder system switches control hydraulic pressure to the upper and lower power units. With the switches in the guarded on position, hydraulic pressure is available. The rudder trim wheel mechanically transmits trim commands to the rudder power units. Moving the trim wheel relocates the neutral position and deflects the rudders and rudder pedals. Load limiters for both the upper and lower rudder reduce the amount of hydraulic pressure applied to a specific rudder. The upper rudder has a fixed load limiter which reduces operating hydraulic pressure to the upper rudders at all times. The lower rudder has a variable load limiter which monitors inboard flap position. When the flaps are retracted, the rudder operates in the low pressure mode. When the flaps are extended, the rudder operates in the high pressure mode. The upper and lower rudder power units both incorporate yaw dampers. Yaw dampers sense movement around the aircraft's vertical axis through rate gyros, which automatically applies a hydraulic correction through the rudder power units. Each yaw damper requires both AC and DC power. Normally, the yaw dampers receive AC power from the engine-driven generators. However, external power or the APU can also power the yaw dampers if the autopilot ground test switch is moved to the ground test position. The upper and lower yaw damper and gauge switches control hydraulic pressure to the yaw dampers. With the switches in the guarded on position and AC power available, the respective yaw damper shutoff valves are open and hydraulic pressure is supplied to the yaw dampers. The yaw damper rudder authority is limited to 5 degrees either side of the existing rudder position. The yaw damper ground test switch is used only by maintenance to test the system on the ground. Operation of the test switch in flight causes rudder movement. The rudder position indicator displays the actual rudder position. When the autopilot ground test switch on the second officer's panel is moved to ground test, external power or the APU can power the yaw dampers. Yaw damper movements are visible on the rudder position indicators, but do not move the rudder pedals. Some aircraft are equipped with yaw damper lights, which illuminate when the yaw dampers are electrically powered. Now let's look at the yaw control abnormals. Should a loss of system A hydraulic pressure to the lower rudder occur, the rudder system A light illuminates. Alternate lower rudder operation is provided by the standby hydraulic system. Lifting and moving the connected rudder system A and rudder standby switch to the upper positions blocks system A pressure to the lower rudder system A power unit and starts the electric standby pump which pressurizes the lower rudder standby power unit through a shuttle valve. 
The lower rudder standby power unit does not have a load limiter or a yaw damper. Therefore, when operating with the electric standby pump, yaw damper limitations must be observed. Should a loss of system B hydraulic pressure to the upper rudder occur, the rudder system B light illuminates and the upper rudder is inoperative. No backup system is provided to power the upper rudder. If hydraulic systems A, B, and standby fail, rudder control is not possible and no mechanical backup is available. If electrical power is lost to the yaw damper system, the green yaw damper lights on the rudder position indicator extinguish. On aircraft without lights, a yellow flag appears for each yaw damper. During a loss of electrical power, the POM is referenced for airspeed and altitude limitations. The rudder load limiter light illuminates when flaps are retracted and operating pressure to the lower rudder is excessive or with flaps extended, operating pressure is below normal.